Hi, the Sultan of Silver here with you, talking to you today about reverse engineering. You can reach your goals by reverse engineering. It's a way that kind of gets you out of a rut because a lot of times your goals seem so far off and it seems impossible to reach, to get out of the relationship, to get out of the house where you're at, to get out of the job where you're at. To reverse engineer means to come up with the desired end goal immediately. Start with that. I'll give you an example. My goal is to have a studio, a hair studio and a production studio that has a beautiful view. For me, I like, I happen to like water, whether it's going to be a river in Florida or actually the Atlantic Ocean. I'm not sure. I like waves. I know on the Gulf Coast, the waves aren't as big as they are on the East Coast of Florida. But my family's on the East Coast of Florida, and I kind of dig the, I dig the beaches that don't have 30-story condos on them. Um, in the area that I'm thinking of moving at, moving to, I can walk on the beach, literally, for several miles and not encounter one person. And I love that. As the introvert with extroverted tendencies, that is absolute paradise for me. So it's paradise in paradise. But my days of home ownership are over. I no longer want to be a homeowner. I will be a renter because whatever I rent is going to be part of my business expenses. That's the first thing. Second thing is this. When I look at places that I can rent on the beach and live at, like there's a lot of reasons why people rent and there's a lot of reasons why people own. I happen to like leasing and renting as opposed to owning. That's, that's my thing. And I have some rationale. If something goes wrong, I just like calling someone and having it done. My days of climbing ladders and painting and, and home ownership and then paying paying taxes every year, which ends up being like rent anyways. People say, well, I own my home, but no, you don't. Try stop paying taxes and see how long you own it. But that's for another discussion. So, and please don't comment on that. Reverse engineering, let's get back to that. I want to be in a beautiful environment. For me, I'm really affected by my environment. I'm, I'm affected by what I see. I don't like my laptop on a desk facing a wall. Everyone I know has their computer facing a wall. I like my computer facing a window where I can, if I'm working on something, I can look up and see something beautiful and inspiring. When I was married, I had my office in the basement of my house, which is a walkout basement, which when I looked out the window, I saw my garden and a beautiful park beyond that. And it was inspiring to me. And I was writing like a beast and it was beautiful. And I was up before the birds and it was just phenomenal. I'm like that. For me, staring at a wall is not inspiring. So I need to be looking at something beautiful. One of the things, uh, one of the books that I wrote was actually I wrote while I was in Jamaica looking out at the ocean. I wrote every day from about 8 in the morning after breakfast till about 1 o'clock. And then I would just get ready and then I would go down to the beach. I didn't want to be on the beach uh, during that noon, like noon to 2 kind of thing. So I did a lot of writing and did a lot of work and then I was pretty much down on the beach after 2, 3, beyond that. and. The, the super hot burning sun doesn't work for me. I like it at the end of the day. I don't want to be there during the hottest part of the day because I really like it. I like being in the sun and not necessarily sitting under an umbrella. So for me, and I was super creative, man, I was cranking out the content doing that. So my goal, the reverse engineering goal, is to be on a beach or a river in Florida. I know exactly where I want to be. But... The house that I want to live in, the type of house that I want to live in, is anywhere from 2500 to $5,000 a month. Holy crap. 
you might say. Yes, I know. But with that kind of inspiration, and I know what that does to my mind, I'm going to be cranking out five times more. Uh, I'll, I'll be bringing in five times more income than that costs me. So is it worth it to take the move? Well, this is what you do when you reverse engineer. Figure out what the end goal is. My goal is to live in a house and the type of house that I want to live in with the type of amenities that I want. And I, I want a guest house to bring friends and family in and, and that type of thing. Um, and I, I want a, uh, a hair cutting studio, but not at my house. I want a hair cutting studio on a river or on a beach. So uh, my clientele, my guests can look out and receive peace just from what they see. It's not from serving them wine. It's not from a, a chick with cleavage. It's not from music like many salons and barber shops have. I have a different idea. My thing is this, is that people, I want people to take a break from their life when they sit in my chair. And that's very important to me. It's an hour that I look forward to when I go and get my hair cut. Now, I want to be able to provide that. I want people to say when they leave my chair, and it's not just a haircut. There are some people who will argue, my God, it's just a damn haircut. No, it's not. If you want just a damn haircut, then you go and just keep getting a damn haircut. And that's okay, that's your choice. I want to provide something that's a little bit different. That's what makes me different in the work, in the hair and beauty industry, is that I want to provide something different. I want to look at what everyone else is doing and do the exact opposite. So, but that's a goal. That's not easily, uh, I can't just make a decision and do that. I have to work my way to that. And my goal is to be the best at what I do. I never, ever play to be number two. I play to be number one, absolute number one. And that's what you should do too. So I, re I reverse engineer. I start with, <clears throat> let's just say the $5,000 a month home on the beach. And then I write down the expenses for that. I write down the insurance that it's going to cost. I write down the type of motorcycle that I want to drive. Uh, I'm looking at an Indian Roadmaster right now. That's just, it's been in my head for a few weeks. So I look at what that costs all together and then I work my way backwards and I ask myself the question, what do I need to do to get to that point? How much work do I need to do? How much content do I need to create? What hands do I need to shake? What deals do I need to make to get to the point where, where my life, where my life is creating, let's say, minimum uh, 10K a month? Because I'm about lifestyle and I'm not about I'm not about luxury lifestyle. I like convenience and I like beauty. And I will tell you this, a lot of times you gotta pay for beauty. That's the way it is. You gotta pay for peace. You gotta pay for convenience. I'm done living the suburban, urban life. I live four miles outside of Philadelphia and with traffic and so forth, hearing trains and planes and noise and stuff, I might as well be living in the city. It's the same thing. I can hear traffic at night. I can actually hear damn traffic. I can hear tractor trailers hitting the rumble strips at night. I'm laying in bed and I hear as these tractor trailers are hitting the rumble strips on the right near the toll booth. Um, and I don't. I no longer want to be in Pennsylvania that has the worst roads I've ever seen in my life. Like this road that I'm driving on right now. My God, you think you would need a damn four-wheeler to just to get to work. And I'm outside of Philly, one of the richest areas in the damn country. And yet, I experience some of the shittiest roads in the country figure that out. So reverse engineer, where do you want to be? Ask yourself the question, what do I need to get there? And start chipping away at that. I know exactly where I want to be. I can picture in my mind. I can tell you exactly what I see in the end result. And I know exactly what I need to do to get there. So I would say in the next year, 
actually in the next year and a half, in, in a year and a half, I will be creating content, doing video influencing from a deck overlooking water. For me, that's very powerful, it's inspiring, and it's being a good steward of this brain. I'm not interested in retiring. The three biggest causes of death are doctors, stupidity, and retirement. Retire and do what? Come on now. I want to work till I die, man. I want to produce till I die. And that's relaxing. And that's being a good steward of this body and that brain that you've been given. Reverse engineer everything in your life. Google it. Look it up. Look up the details of how to reverse engineer. It is the key to everything that you want in your life. I, this is just the very beginning for you. Reverse engineer everything. I hope that helps.